Hi everybody. Today we are going to make pies. And I hope making pie does not scare you because it shouldn't. Pies are not that difficult to make. There's a lot of people that make pies that are better at it than I am, but my family thinks mine are pretty good, so I'm happy with them, and your family's gonna be happy if you make a pie too. So let's just get started. We are going to do a cherry and a pumpkin. So my pie recipe is really easy to remember. Two cups of flour, one cup of shortening, and do you know what I think is so satisfying is taking the first scoop out of the shortening. It is so pretty, isn't that pretty? And a half a cup of cold water. But you don't put that in yet. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And then you just start cutting the shortening into the flour until you get it nice and crumbly so it's all worked in really good. The pastry that I'm making right now, this will make the cherry pie. And then I'll make a little more um, pastry for the pumpkin. Okay, you see how that just represents a lot of crumbs? It's kind of crumbly looking. That's, that's the way you want it to look. And then you can start adding your half a cup of water just a little bit at a time. So now you can start forming this dough into a ball. Cut it in half. And I spread plenty of flour out. And I just start rolling it out like this. I set my, my pie plate over that just to make sure that I've got it rolled out enough to cover the pie plate. That looks just about right. I just very carefully get my hands underneath this, like that. Put it over my arm. See that? Just like that. And then bring it over my plate. And it's okay if it tears up a little bit. It's gonna cook, you're gonna put pie filling in it. it doesn't matter. Make sure that's in there pretty good. If you're, if you come up short, like right here, I'm a little bit short and you want to patch it, just take a little bit of, and go around it. Sometimes I roll it out and it's just perfect and I put it in here, but I was kind of watching the camera as I was moving this in and I didn't get it centered just right, but that's okay. You watch, it's still gonna be good. Then I take my fork and I go around and put holes all over. And this is where the little kids come in. They love to put holes in the pie. Just like that. And then I take a little bit of sugar and I sugar the bottom of that pie crust. So 
So I like to put a little bit of butter on here. You don't have to, but I think it makes it yummy. Now I want you to notice that I do not play with this dough a whole lot. I don't want to get it warm. I don't want it sticking all over the counter. It, it's just best to touch it really as little as possible. starting to stick here look so I okay I didn't do it right I didn't have enough flour down and I'm gonna have to start over that's okay to do it once but if I did have to start over very many times then the dough is gonna be really tough so but that happens. I didn't have enough flour down on the counter and it's stuck. Okay, we'll do this again. The worst thing that will happen is you'll have to start over a couple of times or make a new batch of pastry. And what's that? A nickel? The, the, um, Flour is pretty cheap. Shortening's getting to be kind of expensive though. You hate to waste that, but this is rolling out much better this time. I think this will work this time. I just have a feeling. And I know there's different ways to do this. Some people fold it and fold it. And I just like to do it this way. like that and then I take my knife and I hold it out like this so if I cut like this on it I'm going to be cutting more um, pastry than I want so I'm going to put it against the edge of the plate and I'm going to cut it all the way around go across my pie with a little bit of cream you can use milk you can use egg white, but this will give it a little shine, and it'll also give the sugar that I'm about to sprinkle on something to stick to. And with those same wet fingers, I'm gonna pick up a little sugar and just drop it on. And as I do that, puts a few clumps on there and I because my fingers are wet and I just think it makes it pretty to have it kind of clumped on there. See the little clumps? Okay, we're not done yet. I just wanted to tell you that I'm just having a lot of fun right now making pies with you. This is a fun little trick. Take your fingers like this Okay, now this is the fun part. This is where you sign your pies. My signature has always been chicken feet. I just like to make my chicken feet look like they're walking across my pie. So preheat your oven to 375 degrees and this pie will take between 50 minutes and an hour to cook. While the cherry pie has been in the oven, I went ahead and made up another batch of pie pastry and I'm only going to make one pumpkin pie. The recipe in the cookbook is for two pies, but I got this smaller can of pumpkin here that I can just make one and we do not need 
two pumpkin pies and a cherry pie tonight. The pumpkin pies are in the oven for so long and there's only one layer of crust on this edge and it burns pretty easy. So I just kind of go around it and, and uh, shape it a little bit, but I'm not going to put a fancy edge on it because those edges will burn. I think the very best pumpkin to buy is the Libby's pumpkin. And I like the, just the 100% pure pumpkin. Do you guys remember when we were sending out our cookbooks and we randomly put some of these little pictures in your cookbooks? If you got one of those pictures, would you send, uh, just leave me a message on one of my last Instagram posts. I'd love to know who got these. Anyway, somebody didn't get this one because I kept it for myself. So this, the recipe in the book does two pumpkin pies. So I put, I cut it all in half. And today I put in two eggs and 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin, three fourths cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. I put in, oh, I put in a little more cloves than I needed. I put a half teaspoon of cloves. I only needed a fourth. It's going to be good. I added one can of evaporated milk and we're ready to pour this into the pie shell. So this pie starts out in the oven at 425 degrees and then after it's been there for 15 minutes, turn it down to 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes and we'll check it at 40 minutes. You can see that this pie is really, really slushy. Be real careful putting it in the oven. So the pie has been in the oven. I left it in there for an hour. That looks pretty good. Walk in the door and I just love the smell of that. And that's pie crust being cooked and I can't wait because I'm hungry. <laughs> You know what the best time is to eat pie? <laughs> when you're hungry. <laughs> yep, right now. Right now. Anytime's the best time to eat pie. Cherry? I, well, do you want cherry or do you yep. want pumpkin? Cherry sounds good to me. I want one of each. Just okay. a little bit of each. Well, then I'll just cut a little bit thinner okay. slice there. Okay. Want me to? Yeah. It'll just take me a minute. Everybody, thanks for watching. Go ahead and make yourself some pumpkin pie. Bye-bye. And a cherry pie. And then have a slice of each. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Crap, you no, did that on no. purpose. Can I put that in the cookbook? <laughs> <laughs> Slid right off there. <laughs>